What up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and in this one, I'm gonna show you how to create this monster wall of text really quickly and easily in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in the edit page. As you can see, I've got nothing set up at the moment. So the first thing we need to do is to grab some text. So I'm gonna open up the effects library, top left-hand corner, then come on down over here, and you wanna jump straight into the toolbox and then into titles. Now you need to grab a text plus effect, not the regular text, but a text plus. We're gonna drag that, put it onto our timeline like so, and then just lengthen it out to the length we want it to be. So I'm gonna go with something like that. We're then gonna give it a click, hop into our inspector, top right hand corner, make sure on the video and then title tabs and expand text plus if you need to, so you can see all the options in here. And then we just need to customize our text. So I'm in text, I'm just gonna go with Mr. Alex Tech, we can change the font and we can change the color and all that sort of good stuff. I'm gonna go with the dark gray. Now, if you want a colored background, this is the time to do that as well. So hop into the layout tab here, scroll down and expand background. And then all you need to do where it says alpha, just drag that over to the right. And then you can just change the colors as you need to using these sliders or pick on color here and then pick the color from the color picker as you would anywhere else in DaVinci Resolve. So let's just go with that. Cool, the text is good to go. Now we just need to replicate it to create a big monster wall of text. So within the effects library, same as before, come on down to the open effects area. And then within this list, scroll right down until you get to this area here. This is the Resolve FX transform area. And within there, you've got an effect called transform. Grab that and drop that onto your text like so. Then hop back into the inspector and you can, should see you now have access to this effects tab. Give that a click and you should see transform within here. Just give it a click if you don't see the options. Ignore everything for now. Just scroll down until you see this edge behavior that's within the advanced options and change that from transparent to wrap around. Then tick crop. And then all we need to do is to adjust the crop to cut off the edges. So I'm gonna do crop left first, and what you wanna do is keep cropping until this pops in and starts to overwrite your original text. So I'm gonna just dial it back, go with about there. We'll do the same on the right, crop in until we start overwriting anything, and then we'll leave it there. Crop top, same again, and then crop bottom. And now we've got this. So now we've got a big wall of text. Now we can scroll up and start messing with some of these options. So I've got zoom here. If I zoom out, you can see we've got this infinite giant wall of text. And we can keyframe this if we want to. So we can use these little keyframes to animate it. So I'll show you really quickly how that works. I'm gonna reset zoom just by clicking on this little icon here. I'm gonna move my playhead towards the end of the text. Let's just go with about there. And we're gonna hit the keyframe because I want to finish at this point. And then I'm gonna scroll right to the very beginning and then we're gonna zoom all the way out. And now if I hit play, it's gonna do a real nice little zoom in on our wall of text. So that's looking pretty cool. Let me just reset that. You can obviously rotate, you can zoom, but then there's also pitch and your, so you can create these crazy little effects. Now one last thing to show you, there's a motion blur slider here as well. So if I put that right up to full, Let's just reset some of these and we'll do a zoom again. So I'm gonna to come to the beginning, keyframe, zoom all the way out, come into about here. And then if I hit play, you can see we've got a motion blur on there as well. Really cool, simple, quick, easy effect. And there's loads and loads of cool stuff that you can do with it.